Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. And it's a new moon, super moon at that. This is the second super moon of the year. And, and that's another super moon going to be at the end of the month. So this is a very powerful month for you, the collective. You know what I mean? For you to um, heal, continue healing whatever is still hurting you, bothering you, triggering you. For you to let go and release people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Okay? Block whoever you need to block. Do whatever you need to do. Okay? Um, because this is a very powerful time of change. The positive changes that you've been praying for for so long are now here for you. They're right at arm reach. Your ships are here. Remember in your affirmations to say, I am ready to receive now. I am open to receive now. Okay? So that it can happen for you right now. Know that it already happened. Once you know that it's already yours, that's when it, it happened just like that. You know what I'm saying? And listen, by the way, um, right now protect your energy very heavily. So that means block, delete, unfriend, whoever you need to in order to protect your peace. Um, as for me, that's what I do. If something is not in alignment with me and my energy and my frequency, because I'm having to um, love on and give out energy to the whole collective, okay? So by any means, I'm going to protect my peace, especially from just one person. So if you come on my post commenting, you ain't had to necessarily do nothing completely wrong. But if you come on any of my posts commenting um, with very low vibration, low frequency, disrespecting the divine masculine, disrespecting the collective, you got to go off my page. And then if I block you on my page and then you try to find me via email or any, any other social media, you know, and, and ask me why you're blocked, now you're giving me the reason why I know I blocked you. Now I know why I needed to block you because you cross boundaries. If somebody blocks you, don't take it personal. It may not even have nothing to do with you. It could have just been what time they was on at that time. <laughs> so listen, um, if I set a boundary with you and you cross it, um, I'm going to block you on all platforms. Any any platform you come to me, okay? All right. Respect people boundaries, y'all. What messages we got right now during these full moons? What's going on? What's going on, Spirit? What would you like them to know? Okay. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay? So if you've been feeling like, you know, you, you've been feeling like your dreams are not coming into fruition at this time, it's because you're not planning it out. It's just, even if you start with just the first step to the plan, you know, that's starting the plan, you know, so that you can start taking the steps or whatever. Okay, what else? The end of a tough cycle approaches. The end of a tough cycle approaches. A new romantic cycle begins. Oh, I told y'all some positive changes happening to bring balance. Okay, listen. Um, I feel like you or your person is coming up with a plan. I feel like y'all got two different missions. Their mission is to do what they need to do to get to where they need to be. And so is yours, but in a different way, okay? And I feel like your dreams is working out. It's coming to fruition. You just got to make sure you're you taking the steps that you're guided to take. One, two, three, okay? Take one step at a time, all right? And it's an ending, to the tough part, the the hard part that you had to go through to learn them lessons, okay? You had to learn it so you could be prepared for this next level, okay? So now a new romantic cycle begins. And step out of your comfort, comfort zone. Somebody is being guided to take some steps. They're ending a tough cycle and ready to begin a new beautiful one. Um, this, is, this is not their normal this is definitely out of their comfort zone um i feel like they stayed in their comfort zone too long this could be you or your person um but now it's time to do the unthinkable and do the things that you know that you need to do to get to your next level so that you can finally have that peace and happiness within 
and without okay take time to breathe okay take time to breathe it's gonna be all right look at the bigger picture your hard work is paying off you and your loved ones are safe confidence is your key six success eight eight lion gate happy birthday to y'all leos balance spirituality and practicality and conclusions are within reach the answers you need are coming emotions are running high be bold and make the first move you're very close to achieving your goals you got this baby everything you want is coming to you right now and for those of you who are being guided to take a leap of faith you know um, take a breath it's gonna be okay um, do what you feel like your intuition is telling you to okay what's going on right now spirit wait oh What's to step out of your comfort zone? So somebody somebody um, had multiple options. Somebody could have been going through some type of financial break. Some something some type of um, scarcity energy or some type of financial um, disappointment. This could also be like somebody going through fears, anxiety, depression, um, like locking themselves in their room and just you know, staying to themselves. Somebody could be upset about losing something. This could also be a person missing you, all right, needing to step out of their comfort zone. But I feel like they got a lot of baggage. <clears throat> this is due to all the different options and stuff that they may have put in their way that caused a lot of confusion. As you see, some of them are snakes, rats, bats, you know. And this person is carrying a lot of weight with them. And I feel like that's the main reason why they probably didn't come forward sooner, they didn't want to be a burden on you because they already feel like a burden to themselves. They feel like they put themselves in a situation by having so many different options, so many different people in their business, so much going on, having to take care of all this different stuff on their own. But I feel like there's some type of wake-up call here. This is some type of communication that they're wanting to have Something that they've been having on their chest for a very long time. Um, this person is trying to bring some type of balance here. Like by them communicating what they need to say and doing what they need to do. This is going to help bring them back into balance. Okay. Yeah. Something that you've been waiting for. I'm telling you. Your ships is already right there. They're about to communicate and let you know. It's this emperor right here. You know. That's big, big D energy. It's coming towards you and saying, listen, I want a new beginning. Like, I feel like you don't have to move. They're on their way towards you. Whether it start off with just communication, okay? But this person may, like, if y'all not, if y'all don't have each other's phone number at this time, I feel like they will reach out via social media. But this person is missing you a lot. They have been working on their finances um so that they can take this leap of faith okay they're on their way towards you you may not see them coming because they may be coming in a different direction than you're you're expecting <laughs> uh-huh but this person is definitely tapped into their higher self they they have a lot of things have been revealed to them because they finally took the time to actually see what's going on and the people that they are around, whoever this person is ending a connection with, oh, trust me, he knows that they're playing games and they're sitting there playing checkers with a chess player. Because now that he woke, there's nothing they can do. Yeah, he was confused. He can admit that. He can see that. The emperor with the seven of cups. He was confused. Could have been under sexual, sexual spells that was blocking his third eye from whoever this other person was that he was connected to. But the whole time, this person never, when I say he or she, take what resonates for you, because if, if you're dealing with a woman and I'm saying he, take what resonate. that means I'm talking about a woman, if that resonates for you. Um, this person is holding on, was holding on to somebody, but while holding on to you, to the spiritual connection, and they, they tried to juggle it, because they did not want to let you go. And they didn't want to let them go. Because it was their comfort zone. And with you, it would have been a big change. It would have been so different. You know what I mean? 
and they weren't ready for different at first. But now this person wants this new beginning and they're kind of rushing towards it. Like they've been watching, they've been waiting, they've been, they've been patient, they've been trying to figure out which way to go, how to do it. And now I feel like they finally are seeing the, the way. And for some of them, it's just to come towards you and tell you that they want to start over. They want a new beginning. They want to do things different. Because in the past, there was a lot of in and out energy. And you ain't with none of that right now. It's either come in stable or don't come in at all. And with this page of pentacles, with this emperor, I feel like this person is ready to come in in a stable way. But with this knight of wands, with the three of wands, I feel like when this person comes in, they don't want to rush out. Like they, they want to rush in because this is what they want. But when they get there, they want to stay and make it home. Ace of wands. Because they finally seen the things that they need to see. And they're ending the tough cycle. The player energy. They're ending their player ways. They're ending the juggling. Your dreams need a practical plan. There's something that you're needing to see or study. Like for instance, if you're trying to um, be a lawyer. Now it's time. If you're in high school or whatever. Now it's time to be around people who have that knowledge while you're also studying and gathering information to become a lawyer, to go to law school. You know what I mean? Whoever you are, you and your person, y'all both are kind of good at multitasking. <laughs> Excuse me, multitasking. You can do multiple things at one time. But I feel like right now there's definitely something that you need to observe and analyze in order to make your dreams and bring your dreams into a practical way. Don't give up on yourself either because I'm telling you, something is about to happen quick and I feel like it's happening in Leo season, but you need to be confident and brave during this, having inner strength, inner love, inner peace, inner confidence. Yeah. Uh-huh. And be aware of some somebody else coming towards you because remember, it's not just your person that's trying to come towards you. You're glowing and you're shining. So you got multiple people that's trying to come towards you. Use your discernment, your third eye open for a reason. And if you feel like your third eye closed, talk to spirit. Ask for things to be revealed to you for the gift of discernment. Because this person is coming in, but see, with the surrounding cards, the seven of swords, this could mean a couple different things. This could mean this person is leaving Whoever this other person is to come offer you some type of new beginning. But they may not be telling that person that they're leaving. They may just creep out in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? But to be honest with you, some of these karmics is fatal attractions. So they might have to do it that way. Let's keep it 100. Um, but there's a new beginning that's happening for you. That's, that's being gifted to you. And somebody may have tried to steal it in the past. They tried to take your new beginnings. They, they wanted your blessings, but wasn't willing to do your work. They wanted to walk in your shoes, but couldn't even fit them. They can't fit your shoes, and you can't fit theirs. And you don't, the difference is you don't even want to. You ain't looking for them. They looking for you. And because they was looking for you and stressing out over what you was doing and your abundance, now they sitting somewhere depressed and sad. And I'm talking about them karmics. <clears throat> but your person is in love with you. They feel like you are wish fulfillment. They be up at night. Y'all could be up at night. Can't sleep. Anxiety. Or just, just being up. Just on your phone. Scrolling or whatever. Um, but you be in your head. I feel like this person feels like you are everything that they want. They have been selfish in the past. They moved on a, from a selfish standpoint when it came to love. And now this person wants to offer you and show you how much they've changed, how much they've grown. Because being without you, it has been heartbreaking. You know what I'm saying? But together, you will have the world with this person. Everything is just going to come into place for you. There has to be an ending first, though. To toxic ways. To regret. To guilt. To hurt. Because you got a lot of beautiful things that's coming in for this power couple. The emperor and the empress. Okay? With the sun. With the Ten of Pentacles, with the Death card, this is happening now, okay? <clears throat> I'm telling you, big, powerful changes are happening right now. Embrace it, okay? So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.